Hi everyone, welcome back to Just Julie. We're back in the apartment today. We've got Liz behind the camera. Hey guys. And Liz isn't a big fan of fall, but I think this recipe is going to be really good for her because we're going to be stuffing these acorn squash with Thanksgiving stuffing. I do like it, Jules. I think it's going to be a good one. So to get started, we're going to be cutting open our acorn squash. Now, I love using these acorn squash because they look so cute, uh, but you can really use any type of squash you'd like. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut the bottom off of your squash, and then you're going to cut the top off. And you're going to save this for later because that's going to be the top of our squash. Then using a spoon, we're going to want to just hollow out the center here. You can save the seeds and roast them if you'd like, uh, but we're just going to make a nice little cavity here and just remove all of those seeds. See, we've got a nice little hole here. We're going to do the same with the second one. <laughs> do you want to tell everyone the real reason why you don't like fall and Halloween? Well, everybody thinks that because <laughs> Julie was born on Halloween that that's why I don't like Halloween. Because I ruined her trick-or-treating. Because she ruined my being an only child and getting all the attention. <laughs> and I wasn't born on Halloween, but my mom did go into labor on Halloween. Yeah, I, I, I got shafted on Halloween day. night. <laughs> Poor Julia. <laughs> Do you remember what you were dressed up as that year? No, it was probably like a cat or something. I went you to were always a cat. I know, I went to Georgia, so I, I remember that. Okay, so we're going to take our squash. We're going to put them in a roasting pan. We're also going to take our tops and put that in a roasting pan. We're going to season with some salt and some pepper. Make sure you get all into those cavities. Right in there. And then drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. This is going to go in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Okay, so now for our traditional turkey stuffing, we're going to start with about two cups of toasted croutons. So this is just some old bread that I had. Um, I think it's like a flax and quinoa bread or something. I just cut the cubes, toast it at 350 for about 20 minutes, and they're nice and crispy. Then for our veggies, we've got about a quarter cup of chopped celery and a quarter cup of red onion. And to that, we're going to add about half of a leek and two chopped carrots. We're also going to chop up two cloves of garlic. Okay, so we've got our saute pan. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to that on medium heat. Then we're going to add in our leeks and our carrots, our garlic and our onions. We're gonna add in our celery. And then we're gonna tear up a little bit of sage. So this will take about five to seven minutes on medium heat. You want those onions to become nice and translucent. Okay, so now all of our aromatics are nicely sauteed. They smell so delicious. And we've just sauteed them until the onions and the leeks and everything are nice and translucent. We're going to transfer that to a mixing bowl. And then we're going to combine with our other stuffing ingredients. So we're going to add in our toasted bread crumb cubes. I'm going to add a little bit of cranberries in there. And also some chopped toasted pecans. I'm going to mix that up. Ooh, got some sage. Tear up some sage. Um, Liz was actually just reminding me of this really funny slash traumatizing Thanksgiving when I tried to debone a whole turkey and then roll it back up and it completely fell apart. It took so long to cook and I ended up crying at the dinner table because <laughs> it was just way too stressful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock. So that's going to moisten everything up. And then to bind everything together, I'm going to add one 
egg, which I'm going to eat before. Well, Liz, do you remember that Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Everyone was so excited about the turkey roll. Yeah, because it was when Julie was in culinary school, so it was like her chance to like show everybody her skills. Yeah. But. And I remember mom being like, no, it's okay, it's good. It, it still will taste really good. And I was like, no, it won't. <laughs> okay, so that's what you're looking for. So you see that chicken stock has soaked up into the, um, the bread cubes and it's nice and moist like that. So that's the stuffing. We're going to pull out our roasted acorn squash. Oh yeah. Those look so nice. Mm. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the squash to be completely roasted. If you pierce it with a fork, it'll be nice and tender. And then you're just going to take your stuffing and put it right in the center. So this is like a vegetarian turkey. <laughs> it's a vegetarian dish. I wouldn't say it's a vegetarian <laughs> turkey. Okay, so our squash is nicely filled with our stuffing. Now this is gonna go back in the oven, still at 350, to finish cooking up that stuffing. It's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, our squash is all ready. Wow, those look really good. Liz, I think this could be your new fave Thanksgiving side dish. Ooh, hi. And then our little top. Cute. Surprise, there's stuffing in there. I like to finish this dish with a little drizzle of olive oil. Okay guys, there we have it. Our beautiful roasted acorn squash stuffed with stuffing. I think it's going to be our new Thanksgiving favorite. Move over, turkey. This is the new star in town. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and remember, keep cooking. No. <laughs> it can't be like that. <laughs>